It's Kambada, the shaman, the god, the crack baby. And right now you're tuned in to Kofi's Universe, the number one and most truest source for hip hop news, reaction videos, sports, black culture, and much, much more. If you haven't already subscribed, hit that subscribe button now. Bada. YouTube salute rapper Killer Mike puts racist Atlanta restaurant on blast in basketball legend Dominique Wilkins name. Let's talk about it. If you're new to my channel, thumbs up the video, hit the subscribe button, click the bell icon to be notified when I upload new content and go live. Also cast your vote for Kofi's Universe Hall of Fame East Coast solo artist from 1990 to 1993. Nominate four artists. The link is in the description. Check out new interviews with John Connor of Flint, Michigan and Tech of Smith and Wesson. So basketball legend Dominique Wilkins recently accused Atlanta restaurant El Belboque, I hope I'm not butchering the name, of denying him service simply because of being black, the color of his skin. And even though the restaurant staff claimed they were only enforcing the dress code, Wilkins walked away feeling mistreated. He hit Twitter and said this, Dominique Wilkins, in my many years in the world, I've eaten at some of the greatest restaurants in the world, but never have I felt prejudice or been turned away because of the color of my skin until today in Atlanta, in La, 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 La Belle Bouquet, Atlanta, hashtag turned away because I'm black. So Killer Mike rushed to Dominique Wilkins' side and called on El Belle Bouquet to make the right choice. And he said, y'all better make this lame shit right. How y'all mistreat um, Neek. Um, y'all lame as hell for that. Hashtag this ain't Atlanta all. Racism is lame. Super weak. Hashtag shut them down. And so Elbow K, as far as the, I guess the owner, um, did he come out and say something? So not necessarily, but there have been consistent complaints um, people about the restaurant that actually it ain't just been Dominique Wilkins, but with other people too. So this is my take about that. I'm not surprised. You can't be surprised of what goes on at some of these restaurants, these white establishments. You know, people might say, well, Kofi, why are you saying white establishments, man? Let's keep it real. It's not a black establishment, you know? So my thing is you can go to these uh, what is it? Ma Maestro's, Maestro's, whatever these places are. Don't get me wrong. I like eating at the finer places. I'm not going to lie. But sometimes you just want to eat where your people is at and you feel comfortable and you feel like you want quality service. Yes, we go to the suburbs. We go to the areas. We can feel like, hey, maybe Mr. Johnny has <laughs> his ice cream is colder than Mr. Charlie's. But that's bullshit. That's a facade. We've been taught that. We've been taught to hate ourselves. And at the same time, we've been taught to hate ourselves by our oppressor. So in this situation, Dominique Wilkins, he played in the NBA for like what? 14, 15 years. Won the greatest scores. He won the slam dunk contest, I think, twice. You know, Dominique Wilkins, he's done so much for Atlanta. Put the Atlanta Hawks on his back. back. Him and uh, Spud Webb. But at the same time, though, it doesn't matter. You can do all this shit and they still will shoot you down. Look at Henry Louis Gates, a professor, an educator at one of uh, the prestigious Ivy League schools in the U.S. <laughs> so his neighbor called the police on him <laughs> and they and they came out talk, talking about he was breaking into a house. So it's like it doesn't matter what you accomplish. You could be black. You could be Obama. It don't matter. They're going to always look at you as a black person it doesn't matter what you do you, you can be having your pants sag you can have a three-piece suit on you are black people need to listen to that song on ja rule's first album i think it's um i came out conquering i saw vetti vici vete i hope i'm not i'm not butchering that name but it came out 1999 he said you're gonna be a nigga for life and i don't like saying nigga as far as like i'm a nigga but that's how they 
look at you. They look at black people as niggas. They look at us as second class citizens. Malcolm X even said that as best. What y'all think about this situation? I want to hear from the community. Y'all let me know. Post your comments below. Hoax smash Black Panther the like button. Subscribe to my channel. Click the bell icon to be notified when I upload new content and go live. If you want to support and donate to the channel, I have Patreon. Patreon.com slash Kofi Universe. Venmo, Cash App, PayPal, Streamlabs, everything's in the description. Until next time, salute.